Welcome to the UAE Active Spiro destinations. This time, hello from Egypt. Sharm el Sheikh and Dahab, that was my main goal. This destination is so close by that it's really worth actually to think about this. There is a direct flight from Dubai from Terminal 2. I would say that flight is kind of cheap. So, have a look at this happy guy. That's Sharm el Sheikh, a place which is touristy, I would say. This is a great destination from diving, but not spearfishing. And all of these places are the part of the national park. Look what's underwater. That's what you really want to see and enjoy. The great visibility, amazing amount of fish. Sharm was like kind of like a warm up before training in Dahab. I will have actually extra additional clip about Dahab itself. So, enjoy the music and have a look at this beautiful visibility, amazing reefs and fish. The structures of the reef are quite unique. From the top they look like rocks, flat rocks, or that looks like you would walk on the rock. But underneath they look sometimes quite often like mushrooms surrounded with huge amount of, of fish, uh, very colorful corals. What is important is all corals, they are alive and that's also really nice. Uh, that creates the possibility of amazing fish environment. Uh, Definitely not the place for spearing, especially that everything is a national park. Um, I wouldn't even want to take my spear gun over there. That would be basically from one side destroying the amazing environment, from other side that wouldn't be too much of fun and maybe unless somewhere deep in the Red Sea, that's for sure. Water temperature is definitely colder than in the Gulf area. You remember when I was recording in Poland, in deep spot Poland, I was saying that visibility is a dream like in one of the exotic places, yes, this is exactly the place I was probably referring to, thinking about the future. As you see, I was diving without the belt. Red Sea since long time, since many years, is famous and recognized as a pretty much diving destination because of visibility, the whole the infrastructures, and the most important, amazing views, amazing reefs, amazing fish species. I would say that all fish that you can see there is quite exotic comparing to the Gulf area or ocean. Coral reefs are amazing, not like the ones that I presented in previous video in Fujairah, the ones that they were unfortunately probably dead. These ones here in the Red Sea, uh, colorful, lively, huge, uh, I barely saw actually dead corals, which is so amazing. Sharm el Sheikh for me is only the airport. Uh, that's a place where of course there is a lot of tourists and it's a very touristy place which I don't like. But I suggest if you want to stay, stay for let's say two days. And the reason why to stay for two days is because they offer some nice yacht trips. One is to Ras Mohammed, the national park, and the other one is to Tiran Island. Both of these trips they are quite interesting and I think that shows you the area nicely. With Iran Island the biggest surprise for me was the Russian couple that I met. They were directly from Moscow. Uh, they look like typical snorkelers. Although after some time I just realized that these guys really know how to free dive which was a nice surprise. So we were diving to 12 meters. And they were actually doing this quite well, quite enjoyable. They were the only one that I was able to talk about free diving. Apparently, they, they finished one of the first courses of free diving. That was a lot of fun. 
As you see, he has a very short fins and they are perfect for traveling. I would say you can still perform quite well. Uh, The yacht tours are amazing, well, definitely worth to go to. Uh, there's thousands of tour operators that they are going to offer you and uh, that's quite easy to get it. Any other tours that they are offered are in the northern Sinai, which are way closer attractions to Dahab, so definitely try to do the rest of things from directly from Dahab. After this trip, my approach to Sharm el Sheikh is that this is just purely the airport place, where you can stay for maybe two days, if you have time uh, and you want to visit Ras Mohammed and Tiran Islands. The yacht tour is quite interesting, inclusive of food uh, and even snorkeling and scuba diving. They should be more or less in the price of $30 per person. And when you're done with that, uh, then basically that's it. That's it for Sharm el Sheikh, because Sharm el Sheikh are the two areas, Nama Bay and Sharks Bay. Sharks Bay is a place, I would say, typical budget place, uh, mostly only Russian speakers, like a Russian town. Uh, Nama Bay is more expensive, probably there are more international uh, tourists. Uh, after landing and spending, let's say, two, maximum three days, you're really ready to go to Dahab and enjoy your diving experience, diving training. Thank you.